Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm gonna show you two different ways to make a, kind of like a pie chart that's been expanded out. These are both the same. Uh, we're just gonna draw a lip, put it P, put it in the center page, take a two point line, go from the center outward. You know, just get different pieces of pie. You know, it doesn't really matter what size they are. Take the Smart Fill tool, and this is pretty important to nudge the smart fill out of the way so we won't have any ghost items. That thing's over 12 inches, so let's set our nudge factor on like 15. And let's move these things out of the way. Because even though you sometimes delete these lines, they could be there later on. Now what we can do is nudge them back. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> and now that we had a smart fill, we can uh, turn our objects into different colors well, we don't want that green we want a yellow or something and then just kind of move them out of the way and you know they need to be kind of coming from the center i'm not going to spend a lot of time you know that yellow needs to come down and this is where you could set your nudge factor a little bit smaller anyway play around with it so now we're going to take this and we're going to go to effects and we're going to bevel 0.03 and look what it's doing. It actually looks like they're beveled. So there's one way, and that is pretty cool, and maybe is equal or not better than the one I'm gonna show you now. Uh, same thing, circle. I always hit P, just out of habit. Uh, one, it makes you, even though it'd be so easy to go from the center of the, the object, uh, then do the same exact things. Fill them all in, but nudge them over as you were doing it. Makes it life a little easier. Get rid of this. Nudge them all back. Now just take and make different colors. Um, we're going to use a little bit different colors here. Whoop. And see, I accidentally inadvertently moved that. So if you ever see anything jump, uh, move it back. I don't like that blue. I'm going to make it green. Now what you can do is just kind of move that green out of the way, move that purple out of the way, move that one out of the way, and you'd want them kind of semi in a circle shape. But here's kind of the key. Select them all and hit the plus key on the keyboard and just move down a little bit because we're making a copy of them. We made a copy and now they're kind of offset at the same angle. So now we're going to grab, try to grab the bottom one holding down the shift key and grabbing them all and add, holding down the control key, add a little darkness to their blend, I mean, to the color. I've never done it with three or four colors at a time. I've always done one color. Now we've still got them selected. So go to object and order and back a page. So now the darker one is on the bottom. Now we're gonna close down the bevel tool and open up the blend tool. And I am, I hit bevel again, object, blend. Select these two, and I'm just gonna blend them 25 times. I seem like if you blend them too much, the dark doesn't really show out, show up as good. And what this does, it kinda of does what the bevel tool is doing with the exception of it, uh, it's got some shadowing, uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, especially if you had them semi moved into a circle and you, to move them around, you could always move your nudge factor or something pretty low and grab it all and kind of nudge that blue, you know, one down. Sometimes you can do better by hand or with the nudge than you can by hand. Anyway, Two different ways to do a pie chart or anything of like that with color. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.